Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll be continuing our 2D animation series in which where we teach you guys um, different 2D effects that you can use on your intros, motion design, and other projects that require 2D animation. So without further ado, let's get started. So, so, so today we'll be creating accents, or in other words, um, circle bursts. And as you saw in the preview before, it looks quite cool and the effect is quite easy to achieve. So with that, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is select our rectangle tool, make the strip black, make the, uh, the, the pixel maybe around 22, and for the fill I'm going to make that none. So let's double click, and we get that, and let's twirl down the rectangle one, twirl down rectangle path one, and for size, you want to uncheck the chain, and then right here, 100 by 100. So as you can see here, we have a little square. So the first thing we want to do is click the stopwatch for both, oops, for the position and size. And move forward a couple of frames and be up to here. And for the position, drag the second property which is the y value to the left which makes that go up and for the size just hit this keyframe button and go back to the start and make this zero zero so basically that just increases in size and moves up if we watch that it's quite simple now as you can see when it becomes bigger it doesn't actually go away so to make it go away, we're just going to decrease the stroke. So twirl down the stroke one. And let's actually make this a little bigger at the start. Let's make that around 30, I would say. So around the middle, maybe around here. Hit the stopwatch for the stroke width. Move to the end and make the stroke width zero. So now if we watch it, you can see that the animation actually just fades out because of the stroke width. So now it's not that smooth at the moment, it's quite a linear motion. So let's actually select all of the size and position keyframes and right click it and click keyframe assistant and easy ease. Let's play that and you can see it's just a little more smooth. To make it even more smoother, select it all again. Go to your graph editor, make sure you're selected the speed graph. And you want to select these two in the left, drag that slightly to the left, and select these two on the right, and drag that to the left as well. So if you don't know what I'm doing right here, check out my graph editor tutorial that I did recently, and that will explain what I'm basically doing. So if we watch that now, you can see it's a much smoother animation, like so. Alright, nice. So now we've got that, we can actually select these two stroke widths and just right click it and click keyframe assistant easy ease. Cool. Turn that back down and watch the animation. So right now we have only one that shoots out. Now we need to have a couple more. So to do this, we use a property called repeaters. So click add repeater. And actually, let's, let's just, oh yeah, add, repeater. And we're going to make the copies, let's make that six. Go to transform repeater one. And to make this work, uh, make the position zero, zero. Make the rotation the amount of uh, 360 divided by the amount of copies. In this case, we have six copies. Click enter and voila, just like that, if you watch our animation, it has automatically generated six copies. It's that simple. Sweet. So that's basically what it does. And as you can see, it's very easy to do. It took less than five minutes. And let's make another type. So let's rename this and call this square accents. Let's make a new rectangle. Double click on that. And for this one, we'll make the fill color black and the stroke 
Let's just remove it. All right. Let's, re let's call this um, align accents. So twirl down the rectangular path. And for the first property, make that 120. And for the second property, make that 50. And hold up, sorry, 50 and 120, I mean. In fact, we can make this a little smaller. So I'll make this one a little smaller. Make this one a little bigger. Cool. So for this one, let's just go around here. And you want to click the left side bracket. The left square bracket, I mean. And just like the other one, we're going to set up position and size. And at the very, uh, let's drag the size keyframe and move that up just a little bit because that's what we want as our final product. Actually, you make around halfway, actually. Yeah, actually, this is a little confusing. Let's just do it from scratch. So we have two keyframes here. Make the position actually go up a little bit to around here. Make the position up a little bit. And let's... Uh, make this size zero okay my bad i mean the f the change 145 to zero so what we can do here since we've already done this first an animation uh go to your start of your second animation and click b and that'll just bring your composition temporarily to your new start point so let's play it and you can see it just makes it uh, smaller but what we actually want to do here is we want to make it small at the start and then make it bigger and then smaller so drag this current keyframe move that up a little bit and here make that zero make 145 zero just like so And for the position, we can actually move that up just a little more. Cool. Let's move that up a little bit more. It just takes some trial and error to try to get that effect that you're looking for. All right, sweet. So now what we can do is we can select everything, right click it, keyframe assistant and easy ease. Let's go over to see how that looks. Sweet. Now, once again, we can go to the graph editor. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a plugin that I got from Mount MoGraph, and he's a really good YouTuber. I'm sure you know him if you know 2D animation. But it's called Motion Two. And basically, I'm gonna go to the position keyframes, and I'm gonna just set these frequencies, which make that a burst effect. So. Let's do the same for this one. Hmm, it's not that smooth. So I'm gonna drag that a little forward. Just like so. It starts off a little uh, small. So let's move that just a little forward. All right, so now we've done the um, single animation, let's add a repeater so that we can duplicate this. Let's make this eight copies this time, just so that there's a little more. And the position, make that zero, zero. And the rotation, make that um, 360 divided by eight, which is probably 45, I think. So as you can see right here, it makes it all for you. And let's, oops. Let's play the animation. There we go. That looks really nice. I, I think it looks nice. So as you can see, it's really simple to make these really nice animations. And it takes only like a couple of minutes, to be honest with you. And what I really like about repeaters is that the more you experiment around with it, the more original and more creative your work will be. So don't stop experimenting and keep on trying new different things with repeaters and other plugins that you may use. 
and create something that will be really original and creative. So I hope this video helped you guys achieve something and comment down below what you want the next tutorial to be. I'm thinking of maybe transitions or I don't know, some different elements of 2D. But anyways, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.